Hey, if you'd like to support the production of more Move University video tutorials, then please visit the support move section on moveuniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. So we know that LDL functions to deliver cholesterol to the peripheral tissues. The question is, how does the LDL particle get cholesterol or cholesterol esters into the peripheral tissues? Well, it's done by, by receptor-mediated endocytosis. And this also occurs with VLDL as well as IDL. Uh, why is it that it can work for them too? Well, it's because they have ApoB100, okay, which we'll see is actually pretty important here. So the LDL particle has its cholesterols and cholesterol esters, and it has its ApoB100 protein. Um, and what's going to happen is that the first first thing that happens is that the um, the LDL receptor the LDL receptors will recognize and bind ApoB100. So um, the LDL receptors are these here in blue. Right, these are the LDL receptors. And they are going to recognize and bind that ApoB100. And um, what's going to happen, that what's going to follow is the invagination to form the endocytotic, endocytotic vesicle. And uh, in this pit here, we have um, this, this little protein that coats the pit, and that's, that's uh, clathrin. So we have these clathrin-coated pits. Clathrin coated pit and the invagination to form the endocytotic vesicle so that we have uh, the LDL um, taken up into this vesicle here and what follows that is lysosomes will begin to fuse with the, uh, the vesicle and basically hydrolyze it break it up into all of its components including amino acids cholesterol esters and uh, other components of the LDL. Um, so what can happen is these cholesterol esters that are coming from the LDL, uh, they can be converted into cholesterol by um, lysosomal acid lipase okay, to cleave these esters into cholesterol. Now the cell, ha this peripheral tissue cell, has cholesterol that it can work with. So this cholesterol can basically go to whatever the cell needs, whether that be um, it can go up to the membrane, um, to help ma maintain fluidity, it can give rise to steroids. It can actually even be turned back into cholesterol esters via reesterification. Um, if if we're trying to um, simply store some of it, okay. So the idea here is that um, this is how LDL particles can be taken up by a cell, and how the cholesterol can basically come off of it, and how the cell can begin to utilize it. So I hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share the video with anyone who you think might find it helpful. Thanks and happy studying.